and welcome to Mock the Week. I'm Dara Breen. Joining me this week are Ed Gamble, Holly Walsh and Rob Beckett, Milton Jones, Hugh Dennis and Ed Byrne. We start with a round called Picture of the Week. I show the panel a topical image and ask them to tell me what's <clears> happening. So here's a picture of the Chancellor of the Exchequer this week. So what's going on here? Is he trying to knock Boris Johnson off his bike? <laughs> He's got a look in his eye, like that's what he's yeah. trying to do. David says I should always be the receiver. <laughs> is this Osborne's idea of sports casual? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is actually boarding school PE kit. <laughs> <laughs> if, uh, if you catch the ball, he takes away your disability benefits. <laughs> <laughs> is, is, this, is this November in the least sexy charity calendar ever? <laughs> Just, just hold it. Mm. <laughs> it looks like the advert. <laughs> it looks oh, yeah. like some sort of like high-end sex doll for women with very low self-esteem. <laughs> <laughs> He's going. going Alright, Dave. Let's play a game. Let's play piggy in the. Oh no, let's not play that. Right. <laughs> To be honest, he's probably thinking this is exactly the kind of photo they use on Mock the Week. <laughs> <laughs> I know we're only seeing this on a Thursday night. And on day forever. <laughs> as I'm trapped in this quasi-athletic <laughs> pose for all eternity. Have they done away with the red briefcase? Is that... <laughs> <laughs> Conservative leadership contest hots up when they find Thatcher's last egg. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I wish that was the actual answer. <laughs> Do you think that they have like uh, sort of break time in number ten, where they all just sort of go down at eleven o'clock and just play games? And... Well, like prison. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yard time. Just walk around. <laughs> just out of shot is Cameron just doing weights, just really. <laughs> <laughs> tattered up. You yeah. never see that way. But he's always got a big sleeve yeah. tattoo of like. There's Boris Johnson making a shank out of a toothbrush. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Labour leaders, like with well, one tear yeah. for each Labour leader. <laughs> <he's>, yeah. <laughs> Uh, do you know what it is? What, why is in the news this week? Uh, they had their um, conference, didn't they? The Conservative Party. Indeed they did. Thank you very much, <laughs> Rob. You're spot on there. <laughs> yes. This is Chancellor George Osborne ahead of the Conservative Party conference this week. A recent survey has put him well ahead of his rivals to succeed David Cameron as the party leader. It's exciting to know that this has already started. Yeah. Party leader election, which will take place in 2019. <laughs> and there's already polls about who's going to be taking over. Well, I, I hope it's not him, actually. I hope it's Boris. Because if, if Boris gets in and Corbyn's in, you can forget about politics altogether, don't have an election, <laughs> have no election at all, and just settle it all with a bicycle race. <laughs> to Brighton forms a government. The, well, have you watched the conference? <laughs> I'm waiting until the full box set comes out. Really? <laughs> I'm just going to binge watch If you all dip the... in and dip out, there's a ruiner for yeah, you. Yeah, it really does. Of... I don't get the full character development. No, I think. you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's, that's, that's the other pose the sex doll does. That is, <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's in a Spice Girls dance routine. <laughs> <laughs> that is previous to his speech. That is a stance he adopted. I don't know for how long. Was it just a lucky photograph? Or was he like that for the entire speech? <laughs> <It's> just standing. <laughs> Awkwardly well, buffeted against a, a wind so we can't picture picture. He, he did an interview that made him look uh, I think the idea was to make him look sort of human oid. <laughs> <laughs> but he said uh, it was just some of them it was like he was deliberately trying to throw people with, with the things he was into. Like some of his favorite train spotting, one of his favorite films. Or one of his favorite gigs he ever went to was NWA. Yes. <laughs> yes. I can't believe he hasn't got that mixed up with somebody else. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure he went to see TLC. <laughs> <laughs> or, or just was once confused. in NW8, which yeah. is <laughs> which is Primrose Hill, as far as I know. It's a very yeah. nice part of London, the kind of place. He'd be hanging. This, but that is actually NWA. He saw them at the Brixton yeah. Academy when Maybe he was a student. Maybe it's a singer from his village called Nice White Alan. <laughs> 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 or it's the National Waterways Association, uh, which is a lot harder to do a drive-by with a barge. <laughs> <laughs> did they not do a track called Fuck the Police, though? They did, yes. And is that not being the guide to his Home Office spending cuts? <laughs> <laughs> What does NWA stand for again, Dara? It stands. 
<laughs> nice lads with attitude. <laughs> That is for them to say. It is Fair for enough. them to say that is the way it works. That yeah. is the way it works. Mm. Then the rules. That's fine. Yeah, equally, um, equally, they can't call me Paddy. It's, uh, <laughs> yeah. you know, whenever I meet Ice Cube, uh, I say, <laughs> yeah. da, 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 and he goes, mmm. Yeah. <laughs> PWA, is that what you call yourself? Yeah, Paddy's with attitude. Yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I, I've often joshed with ice about that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's why I would call the band. <laughs> Fuck the Gardaí. <laughs> 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 Just to the Irish. Uh, <laughs> Such a strong statement, I don't think. I couldn't do that. I, my level's like, finger a special constable, that's how. <laughs> <laughs> Did he not? He also said, didn't he, that he, in this interview, that he'd lost a lot of weight over the last year. He lost all that weight doing the 5-2 diet, yeah. which is where you eat for five days and then you starve yourself for two days. And he liked it so much, he put loads of families on it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> The idea of Tories wandering around Manchester. So I went, oh, so what, is it zone 70? I've <laughs> <laughs> been up here before. Chips and gravy, got any you? <laughs> Have you ever seen Ian and Duncan Smith in the same room? <laughs> <laughs> Have you, for the last one, thought they were a double act? It's obviously some kind of benefit scam. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just sign this for a Duncan Smith yeah. as well. Uh... It sounds like it's a nickname, doesn't it? Like Ian, Ian Duncan Smith. Where did you get that then? <laughs> he loves a biscuit, doesn't he? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Covered in obnobs here, is that what it is? It sounds like Ian Douglas used to work as a plasterer yeah. or something. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he used to work in, oh, down the sides. Yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. Duncan Smith. <laughs> <laughs> we, we lost that contract, the amount of biscuits he ate. Um, yeah, leave it at Duncan. Um, <laughs> we really can't do an English accent, I apologise. Uh, <laughs> oh, was that an English accent? Yeah, it was. Leave it at Duncan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't go and do that to me. <laughs> No, not now, not with the biscuits. <laughs> oh, don't care. <laughs> Get out there, apples and pears, man. <laughs> oh, I'll be getting all this for my trouble and straw. <laughs> <laughs> That's so racist, though. Yeah, yeah. To my heritage. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, <laughs> what is Michael Gove planning for British prisons? He's going to sell them. He's going to sell them off for what, though? He's going to sell them off in uh, inner city prisons. He's actually going to sell off for flats, isn't he? They won't be called them prisons, obviously, they're called them gated communities. <laughs> 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 I only hope that the viewing starts early and there's people, yeah, 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 middle-class yeah, yeah. couples, looking around going, oh, yes, no, no, oh, no, no, we could, we'll knock through here. And there's a bloke going, try that. <laughs> <laughs> he already is, though. He's trying to reform the prisons after he turned the school system into the prison system. Yeah. <laughs> Right yeah. you get, sometimes, sometimes when I'm sitting next to Rob, I feel like a bus driver with a guy just standing up front talking to me. <laughs> <laughs> Another thing, yeah. 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 And yeah. you know how you stop yourself falling over if you're doing that? You've <laughs> got to really just spread your legs across. <laughs> In France, is it called doing a bit of croissant? <laughs> <laughs> What's, what's doing a bit of porridge, isn't it? Oh, porridge, sorry, yeah. Oh, sorry, I forgot. Mm. I wasn't in my world. <laughs> I bought Alpen the other day without added sugar. I was really sick. <laughs> it was like eating the bottom of the hamster cage. <laughs> How do you know that? Because yeah. I was really hungry one morning. I didn't <laughs> a lot of prisons are more independent now anyway. Uh, Broadmoor, Strangeways, Australia. <laughs> 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 Jeremy Hunt on the train, do you hear what happened to him? Yeah. No, he I, pulled I, the emergency brake. No, he didn't pull the emergency brake. He pulled the emergency, <laughs> emergency alarm. He pulled the emergency alarm while in the toilet, got confused about how the toilet worked, pulled the emergency <laughs> alarm, <laughs> pulled the, and, they, and then they made an announcement. Somebody has pulled the emergency alarm in the toilet, if anyone could go, you know, because no that's doctors not, were there, because they're all still working. Uh, <laughs> couldn't get to it. And then, he, like, shh, the door to open, shunk, in that kind of Star Trek style and the Minister for Health had to walk out and go, no. <laughs> I always wondered this about guys on trains. Like, yeah. Do you stand up to pee or do you yeah. sit down to pee because it's moving so much? Oh, I stand, because yeah, it's an oh, no. exciting challenge. Yeah. 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 <laughs>
you have to stand. You call it, basically, you stand as Osborne does just it's before exactly a speech. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Your legs far apart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and so that actually, in many ways, you're much closer because you've, you've moved her, your entire hippage is lower, right? right. Yeah. And then one arm <laughs> holding the back wall and the other arm holding a pole yeah, yeah. and then, you know, you're there. You're, you're... And sometimes, just to add an extra bit of spice, we won't lock the door. <laughs> Tick-tock, tick-tock, at any minute that's going to open. <laughs> and Simon's going to see me in cruciform <laughs> position. <laughs> But then eventually that buzz goes and then you have to do a stand-up poo just to really get that high. Yeah. <laughs> if you're not standing up, you miss the whole of that vacuum thing, which is the best thing about trained losers, isn't it? You're like well, on a normal flight. There's nothing exciting about that, is it? Girls don't see it, do they? Because they're still sitting down when they press the button and they go... No, no, we get up. We get up to do that. Do yeah, you? I, yeah. You're up by that. Like, we, would be you're up by that. we would be sealed in it if we... <laughs> <laughs> You would go in there and you would just find some woman waiting for you to prize her off. <laughs> You're not in well, Prince Charming to the rescue. <laughs> Yeah, uh, my lady, yeah. would you like me to? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like how quickly we've moved from the Tory yeah. party conference <laughs> to shitting. Yeah. 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 Mm. 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 At the end of that round, the party's going to end here in Milton. Now we play a round called GWA Gaggers with Attitude. <laughs> This game involves Milton Jones and Ed Gamble, so if you could make your way to the performance area, please. This round is a stand-up challenge. I launched a wheel of news, and wherever it chooses to stop, one of our performers must step forward and talk about that subject. OK, here we go. Let's spin the wheel for the first topic. And the first subject is Parenthood. Who wants to come in on that? Ed. I've been thinking recently that I should maybe have a baby, but I've thought about it and definitely not. Couldn't handle that amount of responsibility. Something that precious, it's terrifying. You know, I've got friends who've just had a baby and they offer that thing around like a plate of biscuits. <laughs> Do you want to hold my baby? Do you want to hold my baby? I don't want to touch your baby. That is a heart in a bag. <laughs> I'm going nowhere near that thing. You wouldn't send the work experience into the boardroom, would you? Start me off with holding your uncle and I will work my way up. <laughs> this is Uncle Toby, 47, from Swansea. <laughs> don't worry about dropping me, Ed. I am absolutely shit-faced. <laughs> still can't help it. I still think I might want a baby. Like, there's just moments in life I'm just grabbing at signs from the universe, think, oh, maybe I should have a baby. It happened to me the other day. I was in the queue in a shop to buy a new light bulb. Uh, because I'm not a student anymore, my light bulb had gone. I'm not going to sit there in the dark for six months. <laughs> so I was in the queue, and in the queue in front of me was a man with a baby. Uh, he was a dad. You've got to give people the benefit of the doubt in that scenario. <laughs> can't go storming in going, excuse me, is that your baby? You've just got to admit it probably is, right? And on the wall, uh, there were these light switches. They weren't real light switches, they were just, like, designer ones to show you what they would look like on the, on the wall. Uh, and the baby was playing with them, it was going, ah, da 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 playing with them, and the dad was going, yeah, try that one, and was going, ah, da, da da I saw that, I thought, ooh, that's quite sweet. Maybe I want a baby. There's something in that tableau that I quite like. Maybe I want a baby. Am I broody? Is this brood? <laughs> and then the dad walked off with the baby, and I wandered over to the light switches, and started playing with them. I thought, oh, no. That's what I wanted. <laughs> <laughs> well, good, Ed. So that leaves us with Milton. Let's see what you've been left with. Let's spin the wheel. And the topic is transport. <laughs> so I was on the bus the other day. Driver stopped, got off, wouldn't come back. Apparently some bloke with big teeth kept talking to him. <laughs> Before that, though, I overheard a mermaid on the bus. She said, I like sitting on the beach, but my other half likes swimming. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, reading between the lines is dangerous if you're waiting for a train. <laughs> anyway, I did a show in Liverpool recently, and afterwards a bloke came up to me and said, Hey, listen, I want to talk. I said, well, just keep practising. <laughs> Next month, I'm in Northern Ireland, county down. Four, three, two... <laughs> I don't need a relationship. I am a rock. 
I'm an island. Sometimes I go down to airport arrivals and I stand with a piece of cardboard saying, no one. <laughs> <laughs> well, I did that until I had to give a lift to a Mr. Noon. <laughs> well done. Give that round of applause for Ed Gamble. Our next round is called, if this is the answer, what is the question? On the board are six categories. Holly, which category would you like? Please, may I have home news? OK, home news it is. Um, the answer is poultry, axes and pills. What is the question? Is this the ingredients for the hardest ever episode of Ready, Steady, Cook? <laughs> <laughs> is it what gave my sister the hen night she wasn't expecting? <laughs> What three things are inadvisable to smuggle up your ass? <laughs> <laughs> what are the only three ways I can still get the horn? <laughs> <laughs> is it what is the actual title of an aisle in Aldi? <laughs> <laughs> is it what accessories come with the Charlie Sheen action figure? <laughs> 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 what three things do you need if you're going to cook cock o -valium? <laughs> Is it a night out of Bill Cosby? <laughs> <laughs> Is it what respectively makes you a threat to vegans, trees and headaches? <laughs> 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 Is it what ingredients does Heston Blumenthal need to make a lemon meringue pie? <laughs> <laughs> what are the only three things the BBC haven't managed to build a Bake Off style show around? <laughs> <laughs> what three things do you need if you're going to make an abattoir where the chickens have a choice? Oh, that is... Yeah. Wow, that is dark. <laughs> so I put it to you again, <laughs> Mac Cluckerson. Uh, <laughs> shall I do it or shall you do it? <laughs> <laughs> then you know the correct answer. Is yeah. it actually... Is it... What are you allowed to have a plastic... OK, what are you allowed to get a free plastic bag with if you're buying? I didn't what, say this right. Say it one more time. <laughs> OK. Because it's really technical. Because it's like... it's. What are you allowed? What? No, I can't do it. <laughs> you have all the bit. You what just does it? What? What? What are the for exceptions? What, okay, which, I've got it. I've got it. For I've which got items? It. I've got for it. which I've got items? It. What are the exceptions to the free plastic bag? No. What are the... <laughs> Yeah, I've what, got it! Okay. <laughs> what three products would exempt you from the 5p charge on a plastic bag? That's absolutely right. I was going right. to say that! <laughs> yes. Yeah. The question I was looking for is, what are some of the items that are exempt from the new 5 pence charge for plastic carrier bags? The government introduced the charge throughout England on Monday to reduce litter and protect the environment. Like, you, you're paying 5p for a bag, you can get a trolley for a quid, can't you? <laughs> The, 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 the reaction has been fairly over the top. This is the front page of the Daily Mail. Plastic oh, yeah. bags, chaos, looms. <laughs> because you've got to pay 5p. This is the thing that we introduced in Scotland, in Wales, in Northern Ireland, in the Republic of Ireland. It's been there for yeah, 10 so years. Yes, but be honest, Derek. You and I moved here when it was brought in the Republic of Ireland <laughs> because, because of the Ireland <laughs> that it Ireland was laid waste. People fought over bags, put them over each other's heads, it's choked awful. people. It, it was, was horrible. It was That's brother against wear. brother. Yeah. It was father against mother. It was <laughs> carnage in Ireland over the bags. What? What? A bag out there! Ah, it's it's Five pier bag though, that's good, isn't it? I've got loads of uh, plastic bags under my sink. I'm gonna start selling them outside Asda for four p. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, people, people are opening that drawer and going, I'm a millionaire! Yeah. <laughs> it might turn into an insult though, mightn't it? Five p bag. You just go, yeah, your mum's a five p bag. <laughs> 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 if, in, if you was in a massive Tesco and you got yourself a bit of Cherokee gear, um, you could... Uh, did you not buy a Cherokee from Tesco? <laughs> What's Cherokee? What's Cherokee? It's, their, it's their brand of clothes in Tesco. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
I'm not in my choking. world, am I? <laughs> I got, this is my first suit from Asda. <laughs> 20 quid? I, I nearly caught fire walking down the road. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't need a hanger, just stack, threw it in the air. <laughs> caught on the ceiling. <laughs> no one has will only wear Cherokee. <laughs> If you buy clothes in the supermarkets, will you get a nice bag on? I'm sorry, I'm, sorry, I'm more intrigued that the Tesco clothing range Cher is called Cherokee. Something like that. I might be saying it wrong, cos I said... What did I say wrong the other day, though? Mica 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 Mikado. I said Mikado. Why are you looking at me like we live together? I <laughs> 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 said the other day, love, what was it? What was it? <laughs> I did, that, I did the opposite of that with, with your mispronunciation. I accidentally called Wagamamas Wagamamas. That's the poshest thing I've ever done in my life. Wagamamas. Wagamamas. I prefer Wagapapas. But Wagamamas will do it at a pub. When we were underage and trying to get served in pubs, you know, Bombardier, the ale Bombardier, one of my friends panicked and said, Can I have a pint of Bombardier, please? The, uh, in other news, what unexpectedly appeared in St Albans recently? Is this the, um, the big hole? Yeah. It's the big hole, yeah. yeah. It's Sink, the, the big, sinkhole. The sinkhole, yeah. yeah. This is the hole that appeared in St Albans last week. Uh, it's 33 feet deep and about 60 foot across. Oh, right, that that's... probably doesn't give the full scale of it. I think we've been... yeah, that's think... just Whoa. appeared one day. If that is I... the sinkhole, what does the sink look like? <laughs> <laughs> That picture, though, is completely weird, isn't it? There looks like there is an, a tennis ball. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Unhelpfully placed for scale <laughs> is a hedge <laughs> that looks exactly like a tennis ball. <laughs> so people go, it's not that big. It's about three. You can I fit about four tennis balls into that. I think it's interesting that you say, what appeared? A hole appeared. I, I would think of that as the ground disappeared. That's, yeah. Uh, that's, that's the way I would, I would view that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. We've got a whole... No, we've got blown less road <laughs> now. <laughs> we should just take a massive spliff of that one. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I mean, has a hole appeared or has the ground <laughs> disappeared? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really, if when you think about it, maybe, maybe the inmates are really, you know, free and we are the prisoners. <laughs> <laughs> What if, what if we put the deficit in a rocket and sent it into a black hole? Suddenly Milton's shirt's making a lot more well. sense. <laughs> See, what I would love to do is get myself a high-vis vest and a clipboard and go up and knock on that door and go, have you got plenty of permission for this swimming pool? <laughs> <laughs> They do, but they have popped up more and more. I mean, the, uh, there's one that we, uh, footage we have of one in South Korea, and this is just taken from one of those kind of transport buses which are on the side of a tram in. Uh, is that your bus, Ollie? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, I'll hop it off. Mm -hmm. I'll start my day. Oh, yeah. All right, on the way to work, and then. Oh! That is a horrible version of you being framed. They've got yes. there is. <laughs> That is the squarest sinkhole you will ever <laughs> see. <laughs> that black Isn't bloke it? with a hat on's going. No one's going to believe they just fell in. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the last to see them? Oh, yeah. it was me. It I don't know. They fell in a hole! They fell in a hole! <laughs> it would be awesome if he then just jumped in the hole. <laughs> <laughs> OK, give it and first for Rob Holiday! Now we come to scenes we'd like to see. So if everyone can make their way over to the performance area, I'll read out this week's topics and then we'll see what our panellists can come up with. OK, here we go. The first subject is... Things you wouldn't hear on a news programme. And the markets are as followed. Free pound of loose banana there! <laughs> Free pound of juicy straw! <laughs> <laughs> well, he went in half an hour ago and he still hasn't come out, so I can only assume he is having a very big poo. <laughs> Sad news now, Wally has been found. <laughs> His funeral's next week. No one knows where, but that's what he would have wanted. <laughs> As I stand here in this village where the water is ridden with disease and human faeces, we have to ask ourselves one question. Why did I choose to wear flip-flops? <laughs> Sorry, I just, I just wanted to check something. I'm standing just a stone's throw from where the meeting is taking place. <laughs> With thousands dead, there looks like no end to the bloodshed. I've been Holly Walsh for the BBC, reporting for Midsummer. 
Welcome to Fox News. The bastards have been through the bins again and shit on the drive. <laughs> And the Italian wing of Heinz soup has been put into administroni. <laughs> I'm on the scene where the search continues for the beloved pantomime star. What's that? <laughs> He's where? <laughs> <laughs> the fighting here has been drawn out and bloody, but I have finally got my microphone back from that bastard at Sky News. <laughs> We cross live now to the King's Road, where Jose Mourinho has no trousers or pants on and is telling the pigeons it's the referee's fault. <laughs> <laughs> and we've got Barry Chuckle on the scene of the crime. Barry, to you. <laughs> it's not good news. I've just been talking to the American ambassador and I said to him, surely now Osama bin Laden has gone from terrorist to martyr. He said, we say tomato. <laughs> Is there sexism at the BBC? Let's ask Sally Johnson, who's our lovely smiles and pretty cakes correspondent. <laughs> this is the first time I have reported from the Pamplona Bull Run. Fucking hell! <laughs> <laughs> OK, the next topic is... Unlikely agony aunt letters. Dear Deirdre, why does semen make you fat? <laughs> Dear Deirdre, I have spent the last six months living with a beautiful woman, but yesterday she found out. <laughs> Dear Deirdre, I swear Eastern European meerkats are trying to sell me car insurance. Am I going mad? <laughs> Dear Deirdre, last time I wrote to you, you told me that there was nothing wrong with masturbation. Why then, yesterday, did I get thrown off the bus? <laughs> My girlfriend's livid because I got drunk and did a shit on the roof. Please tell me, how can I wipe the slate clean? <laughs> uh. I have terrible trust issues. Please help me, Deirdre. If that's your real name. <laughs> <laughs> Dear Deirdre, my husband is pressurising me to try Alan. Also, how do I turn off predictive text? <laughs> <laughs> Dear Deirdre, I have just bought a diesel VW and I am fuming. <laughs> My wife wants us to experiment in the bedroom, but last time we did that, the Bunsen burner singed my pubes. <laughs> <laughs> Dear Deirdre, I can only achieve orgasm while writing a letter. Do you think it's... <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> Dear Deirdre, how do I turn off caps lock? <laughs> Dear Deirdre, look, I'm not going to beat around the bush. Is there any other tips on satisfying my wife? <laughs> As we own our own business, my wife and I often make love at work, and we love to try new positions. Tomorrow, I'm finance director, and she's head of IT. <laughs> Dear Deirdre, I have a mole on the end of my penis. How much trouble am I in with the RSPCA? <laughs> That's the end of the show. This week's winners are Ed Gamble, Holly Walsh, and Rob Beckett. Commiserations to Milton Jones, Hugh Dez, and Ed Byrne. Thank you for watching. I'm Dara Breen. Good night.